The Pacific Northwest, you can see where that moisture is located, depicted in green there. That is sending a, a wave of moisture across parts of the Wasatch of Utah and will continue to send a front through southern Colorado by tomorrow night. It's more so going to give some snow to the high country, just really keep us under some pretty breezy conditions tomorrow as that front moves through. And then, of course, behind the front, much cooler on Sunday, uh, so it will be a colder end to the weekend, so to speak. Satellite and radar right now shows it's dry across I-25 in the eastern plains, but up towards parts of Steamboat Springs, clouds are increasing across the area. Uh, we will continue uh, to see more moisture moving into the I-70 corridor and some of our ski resorts uh, beginning at about midnight tonight and through about four o'clock in the morning. So some of that snow will spread as far south as parts of Crested Butte, Aspen, Vail, decent one to three inches, not enough snow to warrant any winter weather advisories or warnings across the area. Uh, but most of this starts to dissipate as we uh, approach sunrise. Now tomorrow afternoon as the added instability starts to play into the atmosphere from daytime heating, that will help any additional moisture lingering in the kind of a bed of this trough to really fire up these snow bands uh, through through the day and then that combined with the wind component will give us the concern for reduced visibility for areas west to divide uh, up into the central mountains so we could have some uh, blowing snow that could uh, cause some concern on some of those roads tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Meanwhile across I-25 in the eastern plains it's going to stay fairly dry. We may get a little quick burst of snow with this front as it moves through tomorrow night but minor accumulations if any at all. Uh, in fact the future cast and the uh, forecast models really aren't even picking up on uh, much in the way of moisture. There's just not enough to work with here as that front moves across lower terrain areas. Saturday, temperatures are going to be in the low 40s, so a little bit cooler tomorrow, but certainly much warmer here across the southeastern plains, 50s and 60s across the region. Quick glance at your weekend forecast for Colorado Springs with breezy conditions on Saturday, quick bursts of snow, about a 10% chance Saturday night and Sunday much colder behind the front. Same goes here for Pueblo, calmer on Sunday, but uh, certainly a chillier end to the weekend. So temperatures in the middle 30s for Colorado Springs, 20s and 30s across Woodland Park. And then we look for a pretty big warm up into the mid part of next week with places like Woodland Park soaring into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees. Overnight lows will be a bit milder as well, uh, but until then it's going to be a breezy and uh, Breezy and sunny weekend, but all that to say, if you enjoy outdoor activities over the weekend, golfing, biking, pickleball, tennis, it's going to be a little, a little bit of a nuisance to get out and play some of these sports tomorrow just because the wind is uh, going to be fighting that quite a bit. But Sunday looking much calmer, just have to bundle up just a bit more. Back to you guys. Good. Second day in a row of big losses.